Good afternoon, everybody. It's Billy the Crafty Floridian in hot, humid South Florida on the West Coast. Um, I did take a nap. I didn't take a nap yesterday. I worked like a dog yesterday. I mean, I worked like a dog. But um, so I want to share some things I got ready for for you, and then. Um, I want to, um, first of all, I'm going to show you a box that I received from Cheryl in North Carolina, and this is for the kids at Pine Ridge, for the babies. Yes, I collect, um, or you can send, the address is below in the description of um, the Pine Ridge Re Reservation for babies, uh, for the uh, Lakota and Navajo uh, Indian reservation so she sticks she sent me some um, uh, these things all acrylic crystals patterns six month size um, found a, a sweater in a clearance aisle I'm working on more love you Cheryl thank you Cheryl Ooh, I love Cheryl and so she sent let me show you what she sent a beautiful blanket now, these are the colors that um, Debbie, Canadian crotcheter, that she made in a blanket. Well, Debbie, look at this. <laughs> this is going to the babies for the reservation. And I love this yarn. I'm trying to think what it is. Is this that DK? Oh, I don't know what, what it's called. Cheryl, you have to let me know because this is really cute. So she sent a beautiful baby blanket. And it was just in time because I sent, um, yesterday I sent a box of hats to Hat Not Hate uh, that I have, you guys have sent me hats. I pulled the blue ones and I stick them in a box and um, I made a couple and stuck those in the box. So I mailed those and then I was going to mail what I had, but it wasn't a full box. So then I get this in the mail, so it's perfect. And she sent some... Um, Body suits, little body suits, and some little baby socks. Can you see those little baby socks? And these, I think, are washcloths. It's like four little washcloths in there. The blue. I should probably get up closer. I, I don't, can't judge what's going on here. There you go. And some more body suits. Are they body suits? white bodysuit long sleeve great and then oh I can see look at the little sweater now this is sort of a a melon color can you see the color I know it's hard isn't that cute look at that oh, that is so cute oh this is perfect to go in the box oh yeah here's bag of days I've made this I've made these I didn't make this one and there it is in the lilac color isn't that cute oh that is so cute <gasps> look at this one there's another one isn't that cute little baby dress <gasps> oh and here's one in pink better be careful or i'll lose you better be careful with this keyboard and all this stuff i love my mouse pad oh it's so nice and here's Another one. Oh, I just love it. It's so pretty. Oh, well, look at this. Here's a little yellow dress. And here's a little yellow sweater. You can almost wear this over this, you know. Isn't it? Wouldn't that be cute? Oh, this is so cute. I can't wait to put them in the box. Oh, here's a melon, another a darker melon color. Another bag of day. Oh, Chris, Crystal does beautiful work with baby stuff. Well, she does beautiful work anyway, but here's another one. Now, this is orange, sort of a salmon color. But look at that. Isn't that cute? Look at the, look at the, uh, the work on that. The pattern. The stitching. Isn't that pretty? Oh, that is so pretty. Oh, this is what she meant by underskirt. Well... You know, they could put a bodysuit on and wear it. And here's a little green one. These are so cute. 
Oh, and this is the sweater that she found. Only $5. Look at this. A little Christmas sweater. Isn't that cute? Look at that polar bear. Oh, isn't that cute? This is so cute, honey. Oh, Cheryl, that is so cute. I will put this in the box that's going next. And it's got the loveys with it, so it's going to be perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. These, I'm sure they'll, they can really use these. Oh, I love the little socks. And I've been meaning to make some washcloths, but I haven't. I just haven't had time to do any of that kind of stuff. I love this. I love this. This must be the color of the month. Okay, let's put that away. I'll get that all packed up. And also, um, it's really funny. I got this card, and on the um, thing it says um, Fowler. Well, my sister's first husband's name last name was Fowler. And so I thought it was like, I, I know, I shouldn't have thought th thought this, but anyway, I thought it was from one of my uh, nieces or something, you know. And, uh, but it wasn't. It was from Tracy Fowler. And she lives here in Florida. And um, she just wanted a quick note. Isn't that cute? And she sent this little card in there. It says, getting what you want is not nearly as important as giving what you have. Isn't that the truth? And this size says, there is no greater joy nor greater reward than to make a fundamental difference in someone's life. Sister Mary Rose McGrady. And this was by Tom Kraus. Thank you so much, honey. I'm going to put this up on my board so that I can look at it and but thank you so much for remembering me she's a new subscriber it's really nice thank you so much okay let me put this away well I've been working hard um, I got a whole bunch of new damn it dolls and yesterday I started uh, making bags um, in fact, I'll, well, I'll show you one bag I made. Now, this this was the um, the fabric that came from um, Mo, and I made this bag. It was a special order, and I used the fabric that she sent. And she wanted a tote bag, so that's the tote bag that I that I made for you. And she wanted the one with all the sayings on it with the brown background. So I made this for. Um, I'm not a, I think I got the wrong kind of, um, what do you call it? Uh, face, what do you call that? Interface or whatever it is. Because it's not very pliable. But um, it, it'll be, it, I mean, it's, it's good for the tote bag kind of thing. And I've been watching. I've been watching videos on how to make different tote bags and stuff. So anyway, so that's, I made that. So I think I've got most of my special order stuff done. So let me show you. Now these, all my pricing for, for the stuff that I make is in the description. If you want something that you see that I show, you have to email me. Uh, I know people send things in comments, but I might not get to the comments till later, and by then your things are gone. And if you email me, then I usually take first come, you know, because I have it sorted by date. So um, if you see something that really floats your boat, then, um, you know, email me. Just email me. If I don't have it, I'll let you know. If I do have it, I won't let you know, and I'll go ahead and invoice you for it because I already have them made. And um, so, are you ready? Well, do you want to start with the little ones first or the big ones? Well, let's start with the little ones. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, little ones. 
Okay. I've got this is Miss App Miss Paris. Let's just call it Miss Paris. There's pink Miss Paris and black Miss Paris. So she has black hair. She got that. I I can't say that today. App Apple the tower. You know the tower running up there. And then I did a little something different with the. Uh, gave her a little pink to match it. So these are Miss Paris in pink and Miss Paris in black. If anyone's in. Now these are the little ones. These are the uh, nine inch ones. And I pin um, the saying on there. I ran out of the, uh, you know, the plastic things that you put them in because it, and, and they're very expensive. So I said, it, plus they, they would be so big. So anyway, so I'm not going to do that anymore. Plus I couldn't find them at Walmart, to be honest with you. And um, so that is Miss Paris Pink, Miss Paris Black. And then I have Audrey Hepburn. This is Audrey Hepburn. And she is, let me show you here. She is walk. She is drinking her coffee. Excuse me. She is drinking her coffee, and there's a kitty cat at the bottom of her feet down here. Oh, here's the kitty cat right here. I put it. There's the kitty cat. And um, so this is Miss Audrey. And then I had a little cup, a little charm, a uh, cup of coffee. So I put that on her hair. It goes this way. Why is that over there? It should go over there. Well, maybe it should go over here. Anyway, you can do it any side that you want. Okay? So that's Miss Audrey. And then, <laughs> this is Miss Bumblebee. I had this material. I haven't shown you this, but I had this Bumblebee. And then I got had some of this. And I thought, well, that'll be cute. So this is Miss Bumblebee. And these are nine inches. These are the small ones. And then here's the roses. I got two pink roses. They're basically the same. Here's the back side so you can see. But they're just, just little rose fabrics and psychedelic blue hair. I mean, pink hair. <laughs> I'm not colorblind. I'm just stupid. <laughs> okay. And then I have, here's Miss Audrey again, but uh, we'll have to call her something else. Well, it's called, okay, this is coffee, Audrey, and this is just plain old Audrey. And I did make bigger ones of this, and this, I had a little bit of material left, and it was just enough to, to, to make her. So there she is. I tried to get her hair up to ring around like it is in the picture here, but there's no way to do it with the yarn. So I just did it this way and it gives the height like she has in her, like she has in her, in the picture here. Okay, so that's Miss Audrey. And then I have two of the gingham reds. So this could be a boy right here. And this could be a girl, just, just stacked up the hair. So this is the red gingham. So you can do red gingham boy, red gingham girl. Cute, huh? So that's the red gingham. Now the next ones I make might be a little bit different, but um, but I, you know, I enjoy them like this. Now this was the rooster. A little bit of material that was left from the rooster. I think here you can, uh, where is, can you see anything of the rooster? Yeah, right here you can see his beep. See, there's the rooster's beep. But it was just a little bit of material that was left over. So I went ahead and made a little nine inch doll with the rooster, as much as I could get. And then here's the sloth. Here's the little sloth. Is that right? Yep, yeah, there she goes. And here's the little nine inch sloth. So those are all the little ones that I made. But I'll tell you the truth, the little ones take just as much time as the big ones. So if you're interested, 
pricing and everything is in the description. My little damn doll. This is my little damn doll. Okay, that's the little nine inch. These are nine inch now. Okay. All right, are you ready for these? First of all, I've got a large bumblebee. And here she is with her long hair. But this is the this is the um, 16 inch uh, bumblebee. Miss Bumblebee! And I had some bumblebees. Look, look what I put right in her hair. A little bumblebee pen. Isn't that cute? Some of them I have little pins that little small enough to put on the hair like that. So yeah, so that's Miss Bumblebee with her bumblebee hair. Look at that, isn't that cute? And this is that scrubby yarn. I figure it looks looks like hair, doesn't it? Well, split split in hair. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. But I did. I like I like the Miss Bumblebee. And then we have, now let me tell you about these two. I had someone that sent me this fabric. And um, this material was made, was from Ghana, G-H-A-N-A, -A, Africa. She wanted Africa fabric, so she bought it and she sent it to me. <coughs> and I made her dolls and sent them to her. But I made these with the leftover material. So we've got um, we got the redhead Miss Ghana, see, red pigtail Miss Ghana, and or Miss African, okay, redhead Miss African, and then we have this Miss African. But the material is beautiful, isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? So I gave her um, I gave her little pigtails. But yeah, that's that's um, Miss African. Uh, uh, what do we call her? What will we call her? Miss African Orange, Orange Miss Africa, or Miss Ghana, whatever you want to call her. You can describe it, and I'll show it to you. Okay. Now here's Miss Audrey. I had had a lot of this material left, so I made um, I made another. Um, she's got brown hair like um, like she did in the movie. But there she is. See, let's see if I can get up closer and show you. See, there's her coffee. That's her hand. She's holding the coffee, and then there's a telephone right here. Where's the kitty cat? There's the cat right there. Right there, isn't she cute? Little kitty cat. So anyway, this is Miss Audrey. This is the 16 inch one. And then we have Miss Rooster. I had some of this material left and there's Miss Rooster. And I, I did the red thinking, you know, the, the you know, red hair or whatever. So this is Miss Rooster. <coughs> Good old Miss Rooster. And here's Miss Wino. Look at her. Isn't she cute? This is that fabric and it's the wine glasses. And in her hair, I had a little heart. So I put the little heart in her hair. See that? How cute? So this is Miss Wino. I like that. I love the um, this uh, psychedelic looking hair. So pretty. Then I have the yellow polka dot bikini girl. Here she is. She came out cute. I gave her black hair. And here's another Miss Wino. Now this one we'll have to call the um, wine glass. This is Miss Wine Glass. 
And this little pin here was given, remember, she gave that to me with this fabric, with the fabric. So I put it in there as a hair accessory. Isn't that cute? I love her hair. So this is Miss Wine Glass. The other one is Wino. This is Wine Glass. But you know how to describe it. Well, plus she's got green hair and the other one's got the pink hair. So pink and green. Then I've got a lucky lady. Yes, I got another lucky lady. Here's the lucky lady. This is the one that um, is like the one that I made for, I said to Z, that Z wanted, yeah. And there she is, right in the middle. These are all the 16 inch ones. So you see, I've been busy. Okay. Now I have two, this is definitely, I'm going to call these wine bottles. There's the there's the red-headed wine bottle and then there is this I guess you call it burnt orange or whatever. But here are the wine bottles. They're similar to the other ones but the background color is different. It doesn't have the blue and it has the the beigey, yellowish color in it. Here are these babies. Oh yeah, I got a lot of them. And here's the Miss USA or Mr. USA, whatever you want to call him. Made out of the Miss USA or Mr. USA. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I found, oh, I got another lucky lady right here. And look at the, see where the face is right here. Now, this is, um, this is lucky lady with the black hair. I made her with black hair. And the other one I made with red hair. So you can have lucky lady red or lucky lady black. And then I found some more of the tiny rooster. See the little red roosters on this? I found another one. So that's the little red rooster doll. Oh, I love it. They're so soft and spongy. I really stuffed these babies. You wouldn't, you wouldn't believe it. Here's Miss Paisley. Here's Miss Paisley, right here. Isn't she something? She looks like she's crooked, doesn't it? But maybe it's the way I'm holding it. But this is Miss Paisley. I had two, but I guess I sold one. I thought I had two, but I guess I sold. And then I still have the Batik. He's still around. He's still hanging in there, purple Batik. Is that it? Well, guys, I think that's it. So I'll just, I'll just hold them up so you can look at them again. Miss Paisley, Miss, Mr. Purple, Mr. Petit. And Miss Rooster. Miss Rooster, Mr. USA. Two of the lucky ladies, one with red hair, one with black hair. Two wine bottles, one with red hair and one with orange hair or brown hair, whatever you want to call it. Salmon hair. The wine bottle girls. <laughs> the wine sisters. <laughs> And then we have the wine glass girls. Aren't they cute? 
did come out really pretty. I was real happy with those. Of course, we got the polka dotted, and we got Miss Audrey with the coffee cup. And I've got the two Af Africa Africa fabric ladies. <sighs> Miss Bumblebee and Miss Rooster. There they are. There they are, my friends. enough room so oh and this one someone wanted and that's I do have more of this material it's the knitting lambs see they're sitting around knitting so that one is all spoken for that's got to go out all right oh I did do this has been spoken for too but I did the skull the little skull she's a mess isn't she that goes with that. I'm also <coughs> put these over here. <coughs> I got these all ready to put <coughs> ribbons in. I've been making bags. I started them yesterday. And I have two of the wine glass bags. And they have the same the lining that she sent, the pink. I haven't done the thing for the for the ribbon yet. I haven't done the ribbon. So that's got two of those and some of these I had already cut but I never made and this is the kitty cats in the sewing room look at them they're playing with yarn balls and laying in the chair climbing the stuff but this is so cute this is one of my faves so that one I all I have to do is put the ribbons in and this is the fabric that she sent, the bumblebee. Isn't that cute? The little heart. So I put the yellow lining in that. And then, I don't know if y'all saw this or not, but this is the sunflower stuff that I purchased some time ago and hadn't gotten around to making bags. So these are the big sunflowers. So you have to make a big bag out of that. And I put the yellow lining in. And then I had just enough fabric to make a happy birthday bag out of that fabric. And there it is. Isn't that pretty? So these are going to be, um, if, you, if you like them, they'll be ready to go as soon as I put the, the ribbons in these. And then I've got um, a bunch of go-to bags that I was working on last night and I got too tired, so I quit. And I've got a whole stack of more. I'll show you. I'm not very strong anymore. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I had a problem with gas today. Jeez. These are these are more bag. These are the big bags that I'm making. I don't want to take them all apart. But this is the one with the pelic, uh, the uh, flamingo and the pelicans and every everything on that's going to be that's a large bag and then I'm doing the kitty cat that's all cut and ready to go I haven't sewn it yet this is the um, I think this is called heads up and that's all the ladies heads got that cut and I'll be making that and I'll be making this one this one <laughs> with the kitty cats on it cute and this one with the kitty cats colorful kitty cats and then I've got two horses I've got these horses aren't they pretty and then I've got the colorful horses by timeless timeless treasures aren't they pretty making those horses and then a bumblebee one there's a lot of bags here huh 
and another kitty cat with the blue background, shiny little background, uh, a large, another large sunflower, and then the little ones, oh, I forgot this one, those are the, now these are the ones I just got cut that I haven't done yet, but the little ones I have over here, lilac, some kitty cat ones, uh, the girls at church, I'm making that one, yeah, yeah, the ladies at church, and I've got two of the dogs, be making those, these are go-to bags, and then I've got two of these that she sent the fabric for, uh, wine, what does that say? Wine, there's a way. Wine, there's a way. <laughs> but anyway, I'm making two of those. And then the bricks. Uh, someone had requested a blanket bag. I made that and mailed it. Now I'm, I have enough that I made two go-to bags that I'll be making with that. And then this is the Happy Day. Remember the Happy Day fabric? Best wishes all the best and all that. Well, I'm making two go-to bags with that. And then I'm making two of the knitting lambs. Knitting sheep. Two of those. And then I'm going to try... I, have, I cut um, two of these golf tees. And I'm going to use the canvas handle. And maybe they could be used to hold balls or tees or whatever. So anyway, so I thought I'd make a couple of those. And also, I'm making a couple of the uh, planets, all the planets. That was my, I, I picked that out. What else have I got in here? Um, uh -huh. A Christmas one. I cut out a Christmas one, but I didn't make it. So, we'll get that done at Christmas. And I do have, I don't know if anybody's interested in this or not, but let me get, let me get it out here. Whoops. I have cut, and I haven't, I haven't done, I haven't sewn it together yet. I had made a couple, or three, but I made, I got a couple, I got this one um, blanket bag. I have to put it together, but it's all it's all cut and everything. I just have to put it together. If anybody's interested in this, let me know. Because there are different prices and everything. But uh, I think I made two or three of them. And then this is the last one. So if anybody's interested, and I, I make the handles, you know, made the handles for them. And also I put, I don't know what I put with this. I can't remember. But anyway, so I do have one of these with the handles and everything already cut and made and put together. So yes, yeah, so I'm busy. And then I got, I've got these. I got the chicken and some kitty cats. You saw the uh, the li purple purple lilacs. Just you know some different ones here. You've seen them all, but I'm putting them together. So that's what I've been doing. Ugh. So, yep, so I've been busy. I, um, what was I going to say? I was going to say something. Let me look around here and see if there was something else I was going to talk to you about. No, I can't think of anything right now. But, uh, let's see, there were a few things. Uh, I've got some, some other stuff to make. Oh, oh, Lindsay, if you see, if you saw a bag, let me know. Um, you know, you, you had sent me an email, so I showed you the ones that there and the ones I'm going to make. But if you saw something that you want, uh, let me know. You'll have first choice since I got the email a long, 
a while ago, but I had it right here on my desk just in case. Um, I did not, don't yell at me, I did not get my flu shot. I had second thoughts. I did, I had second thoughts. Um, different people with fibro have told me some of their experiences and I just thought, well, I'll just wait. <laughs> like the Johnson & Johnson, you know, the blood cuts and stuff where you just, they, I don't know, I just, too, too good to be true. I'm just gonna wait. And it's only, it's only good for six months. I don't go anywhere anyway. But um, even if I did get the shot and I went anywhere, I'd still wear a mask because these people, I could not believe at Shakey's how many people didn't have masks. And I looked at the video on my phone last night and I'm learning, you gotta bear with me, I'm learning how to cut. So I gotta cut that one section out and then I went on YouTube and I, you know, got a tutorial on it and stuff like that. Then I cut the wrong, the wrong stuff. So I got to take that out and redo. But anyway, I have to teach myself. I mean, you know, with the help of YouTube. And that's what I've been doing. So I could cut it. The first, the, the trip there was fine. And when we got there, but then after dinner, see, I turned it off. I turned the video off doing dinner. And then after dinner, we went outside and there was a little conversation that I want to blurp out or edit out. I thought maybe I could put music over so you could just, because I had the, I had the, the camera right on the sunset the whole time we were talking. So I was trying to figure out a way that I could delete the video, the, the, the voice on that part so you could just look. You know, but anyway. So anyway, if if I don't get it all done, I will do what I can do. But I gotta learn, so I I will I will do that. Um. Oh, I want to say hello to Janelle from from Florida. She lives close by, and Linda from UK. New 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 folks. Just me from Australia, and she. Um, wanted to wanted an explanation on the damn it doll. Well, if you watch my videos, you'll you'll get an explanation. I think in the last one I explained it about how the damn it dolls came along, and people use it as a stress release. Um, I, anyway, I was talk when I was talk when I was at dinner and we were talking to um, I had made my friend a damn it doll and her her kids and. Um, Connie said, oh, I used to have one of those. I said, you did? I said, you want another one? He says, no. But he said, he beat it to death. <laughs> but he did. He did have a Dammit doll some time ago. So that was that was nice. Um, the organization and cleaning of my, my life around here has not gotten any better. <laughs> I just, I just can't do it. I just can't do it. Last night, okay, so yesterday I did a bunch of Dammit dolls, the little ones and some big ones. And then I came in here and I sewed. So I got those six, I got these ready, because you have to mark them and, you know, and I, I take my time so I know everything is as perfect as I can make it. And um, I got in bed last night, or early this morning, I think it was like two, two or two. 2, 2, 30, something like that. And my whole body just ached and ached. The one thing about fibro and arthritis, I am going to assume since I have arthritis too, is that when you do a repetitive kind of thing, like crocheting, even crocheting, I have to stop. At certain periods, I just have to stop, get up, and I have to stretch my fingers and just, you know, and the CBD oil I've been putting on my hands, that has really helped. So I just couldn't sleep. My legs hurt. My back hurt from sitting, just sitting. Um, and it's just repetitive. It's just like um, when I was working, you know, when I got sick and I was working and I was on the computer all the time, my wrists would get so sore I couldn't stand it. I just couldn't stand it. And, um, and my back would hurt so bad. 
and that's why I took I'd get home and I'd get in the bathtub and just soak in hot water um, but the older I'm getting the worse it is yeah the worse it is so I've just been taking it easy this morning and then I wanted to get this video out and then I took a nap yeah I did I'm not gonna take another nap but then I want to get back and I want to get these little go-to bags I've been doing them in batches of six each so I've got this six of ready to go I just have to do the I, everybody does them differently you know the box bottoms are done differently and I do mine I probably do it the, the long way instead of the way they do it because sometimes they put the bags together already and then they get to the then they take the ends and measure it in and cut it and sew it across and make a box bottom well I put my box bottom so you can't see the sewing you know you can't see it it's it's um, it's hidden all my seams are hidden I don't want y'all to see my seams <laughs> so anyway that's it me and my little jungle animals we're doing great I wonder if this thing will work it hasn't pooped yet I mean it, I I don't know if it's I don't have a this is the little rabbit you know that gets us okay let's see there it goes oh I see he walks and then his little his little tail empties the poop <laughs> all right all right all right all right he's noisy too all right oh yeah I play with my toys I've got the rabbit up here now because it's Easter but uh, I don't know where the rest of oh they're over here and then I think there's one on the floor over there yep one on the floor <coughs> I'm having a good time so if you see something that you want do the send me an email that's all you have to do is just let me know what you want I will invoice you through PayPal and then when you pay then I automatically because it it generates the, the the shipping you know the shipping thing when you when you do it all through PayPal so that saves me a lot of work and I love it I love it so anyway that's all I got to say I'm gonna say goodbye it's hot I don't know where, when I'll be back maybe when I get the rest when I get these bags done I'll, I'll do a quick and give you an update on the ones when I get them finished okay um, I'm just going to take it a little bit easy. Not going to work as long as I did yesterday. But so you guys take care. I think today is what? What is today? Wednesday? Is it? It's Wednesday today, right? Yeah. I haven't. I haven't even caught up on my blankets. The cow from Nan's next knots. Right. So anyway, so we'll get um, we'll get that moving on, moving on, baby. I just want to get my bags made. I was just in the mood. I mean, you know, I haven't made bags in quite a while, and I keep getting questions. So I'm getting them made. So I want to say hi to everybody. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Madonna. Hello, uh, Laura. <coughs> Laura and the quails and the chickens and the hens and the goats and the dogs and the cats. Now that's a farm. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's a farm. Um, what else was I going to tell you? I think that was it. If I think of anything else, I'll tell you in the next video. If I think of it. I've been trying to write things down, you know, so I won't forget. But we do forget, or at least I do. So I bid you adieu, and have a nice weekend if I don't see you before then. And you never know. I might just pop in one night. You never know. So have your wine glass ready. And I think this is Chevy Chevy Rail Week. Are you ready for your video, Chevy? All right, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.